Have you ever seen one of these magnetizer demagnetizer things, either online or in a real brick and mortar store, and wondered whether they work and how they work? Well, that's what we're going to do in this video. And the first thing we should do is see if they work. This is a normal everyday screwdriver. And if I dip it into my jar of screws, it's clearly not attracting any of them. Now, if I pass the screwdriver through this magical device and dip it into the jar of screws. Well, look at that. I was able to pick up three screws. So that's actually quite effective. The question is, will the demagnetizer work? Well, let's try it and dip it into the screws. And the screwdriver is certainly not very magnetic anymore. But this really isn't a sensitive enough detector to determine how strong the magnetic field is. So we'll replace it with a pile of iron filings over here. All right, let's try the whole thing again. First of all, we'll magnetize it. And I'm going to use a plastic bag where I'll never get all these filings off the end of my screwdriver. But if we put it up here like this. Well, look at that. We've got quite a few iron filings. And we'll take them off like this. And now we've even still got a few on the screwdriver. Um, We'll now take it through our demagnetizer and once again do our little test. And we're getting some iron filings. Not many, so it's clearly less, but it certainly has some. All right, now I'll show you why we have the staircase. And that is if we pass the screwdriver through each of the higher stairs like that, and once again, try the procedure, you'll notice we're not getting any filings at all. So somehow this series of steps has allowed us to almost perfectly demagnetize the screwdriver. And that's probably a real mystery. So let's look at why. The first clue is to use this little magnet detector. And well, what you can see is it has a little magnet in it that can move around in all directions. And if we hold it over the magnetizing end of the device, what you can see, hopefully, is the red end, the north end, is clearly pointing inwards towards that hole. And if I flip my magnetizer around, it still is. So it's as if there were magnetic fields going let's say, out of the hole in both directions. Now, what's the hole like on top? Well, once again, we can see our little magnet detector pointing towards, well, in this case, the bottom part of the hole. And in fact, you'll notice how it's flipping left and right. Well, what it is, is there's a magnet in here and that magnet is facing up so we have some magnetic fields coming out of that and well the other clue is this part of the demagnetizer is much thinner than this part of the magnetizer and that's because there is another magnet in here but there is none in there you see over here, the field is nice and uniform and in parallel with the screwdriver. So it leaves a lasting impression, a nice strong field. 
And now to demagnetize it, we put it over here. It sees these fields going somewhat of an angle. The further we move out, the angle changes from vertical to off vertical and it weakens and that generally leaves it with a somewhat lower strength field. And now if we repeat the process here, the starting field is weaker and again the angle changes and it gets even weaker as we move away. And we repeat and we repeat and by the time we're up here there's really hardly any field left in the screwdriver. So that's how this magical device works. But what we really should do is take the second one that I bought apart and just confirm the magnets inside them. And there we go. Those are the two magnets. And we can look at them rather nicely using the magnetic field detector. The north pole of the magnetic sensor is pointing to the outside of this one. The south pole is pointing to the inside of that magnet and it's also pointing to the inside of this magnet and the north pole is pointing to the demagnetizer side of that magnet over here. So now we can see quite nicely what happens when I put the screwdriver through the magnetizer even though the magnetic field is north here as we can see because the south side of this thing the blue side is pointing to it we have a north field that's coming out of this magnet and it's coming out and then it's encountering the north field from this other magnet and they're butting up against each other and spewing out the front like that. So when I put this thing through like that, the last thing it sees is a nice strong north field along the long direction of the screwdriver. And that's what magnetizes the screwdriver. Over here on the demagnetizer side, all we have is a south field sticking up that's sort of coming up like this and sort of going off in all directions. And when we put this thing through it, it gets a nice strong field at the bottom, but as we move it away, it gets exposed to these off axis, lower strength field, leaving this thing with a lower field in it. Well, it turns out these devices are remarkably effective given how simple the construction of them actually is. And the interesting thing is the staircase turns out to be very useful if you're trying to remove almost every shred of magnetic field from something like a screwdriver. Although in most cases, just sticking a screwdriver through the hole once is really all you need to do. What the staircase does show us is whoever designed them really understood magnetics and magnetic fields. And if you'd like to learn more about the topic, I've done a whole bunch of videos on the subject. And in fact, there should be a video link bar stamp floating around somewhere up here that you can click on to watch them. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you next time.